different mode. I think it should work really fine. So I'm just gonna share this with you and I hope this will solve the problems because I had those problems and now I think I got it. Open the Xcode really quick, watch. I'm gonna do a new project and uh, you can do this on iPhone or iPad, either or. I'm gonna do it on the iPad because most of the videos that you see it's on the iPhone. So I'm just gonna do it on the iPad. You get a single view application and this is for Xcode 0.6. Okay, next, uh, or e -N. I'm just gonna call orientation for the iPad and I use storyboards, okay? This storyboards is the new thing that they have on this Xcode. So I'm just gonna use that, watch orientation. Next. Save it, create, there you go, and done. Watch, there's two things that you have to do that I didn't know, and I, I watch a few videos on YouTube, and you know, getting a little bit from here, a little bit from there, I kind of like more or less figured out. Okay, so you have right here, when you just open the file, you see these buttons right here, portrait, upside down, landscape left, and landscape right. So if you want to support all orientations this is what you do you just click on all of them and they work fine I'm just gonna click run I just open the project and click run okay I didn't do anything just open it and see all the buttons there they supported that and then you can see the simulator watch right here and it's gonna open like this open there you go done you see on the top right here you see the bar this bar on the top now if you go to rotate this to the left now watch see how this change now it's supporting this landscape rotate and you go to the left there you go it's supporting that and rotate left and it's supporting that so it supports all orientations you can see this because you see the line right here so this way you can get all orientations quit simulator Quit simulator, where is simulator? Quit simulator, there you go. Okay, but if you want just one, one single orientation, one kind of orientation, let's say landscape, you go here and deselect this, watch, deselect and then you have landscape right here. Then you go to the supporting files and you see the plist right here, orientation, that info, that Please. Now this one says orientation because that's the name of the file that I use, orientation. But if you have another name here, you have a name that says blue, then it's gonna say blue dash info dot pilis. So this is the name, okay? Because I when I was watching one video before they say this go to this that pilis, and I was trying to find that a specific name. So it's not this name is the name that you name your project. So when you go there, you see under here, right here, I'm just gonna open this and make it a little bit bigger. There you go, supported interface orientation iPad. So when you go there, you're gonna see item zero and it says landscape right home button. This is the one that you're using right here. There you go, you're using just one. So if you want, the program just to have that orientation. That's what you do, this, and you make sure that one, it is there. When you go to the storyboard, this is what you have to do. When you go to the storyboard, I'm gonna make this one big so you can see it. Now you see the iPad, it's in portrait mode right here. You wanna change that, okay. You go to view controller right here, to the view controller, and when you click that, you go to the right, right here, in this place, it says orientation. And then you go to landscape. Click on landscape, and this will change. There you go. Now it changed to orientation. There you go. Now, what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna put one little image. I'm gonna get this out of the way. One image so you can see that works. I'm just gonna get this image that I have in my desktop right here, and I drag that over to the supporting files and I hope that you already know how to do that. If not, you're just learning how to put an image. Finish, you copy the image, and then I go to this area, and then select an 
image view. It's going to be right here. There you go. And just drag it. Look how it turns blue. There you go. Done. Okay. And then I go to the image in this top right corner. Go there. And I find uh, my name is a screenshot. I just got a screenshot from a little piano. That's it. It's all blurry and everything because it's not the right size. But this is just a little test. And then I go to where? Button. I get a little button. Watch. Right here. And just drag the little button there. And then if you want to put the name here, you can either double click. Just like that. Double click and type. Uh, I'm going to put uh, center. Uh, button. Center. Okay. That's it, button center. And I just drag this one, and you see the little line, and then center, alignment, there you go, center. That's it. So this button is down on the center, right? Okay. So when I go there and go to run this, then we'll see the button there on the landscape mode. And if you turn that to portrait mode, it shouldn't turn. It should stay on that look. See, it just open. And it opens in this mode. That's what you want, right? On the landscape. I know, I know. If you've never seen this before and you were trying to find this, I know how you feel really happy because that's the way I felt. Now you go here and people rotate this to the left. And guess what? Nothing is going to happen because your landscape is set to work in this mode. Okay? And you have it set right there. Now you go again. Rotate left. Nothing. And rotate left nothing and rotate left there we go so now it's working in only one mode now if you want to add more of this i'm just going to go here and you just add another view controller there you go add it there you go this the new one will be in portrait because i guess that's the default or something so you want to change that, well, you just go here to orientation and go to landscape and you have another landscape more. You just put it there and then you start working your storyboard. We'll watch that in another videos, but that's how you do it. So you set your, per your orientation mode this way. Okay, guys, so I hope that helped because I was trying to find that answer for a long, long time. And finally, I got it. So I just want to share this with you and I hope this works. So I still, I'm working on the sound video, how to add sound video and, uh, and the animation. I haven't been able to do animation. So if anybody knows, please try to contact me and uh, do, you, we can help each other. Okay, see you on the next video, guys.